Hello, Y members and friends. Welcome to Y on the Go, your destination for family, fitness, and community resources. We're glad you're here. My name is Nick, and I am the STEAM director for the YMCA. Today, we will be doing an activity to learn about oil spills and ways to clean up these messes. This activity is part of our theme called Go Green. Be sure to check out Y on the Go for additional activities. We will be running an experimental simulation of an ocean oil spill in order to learn about the impact it has on the environment and the animals within it. We will also be trying out a few methods of cleaning up the oil, and we'll see the challenges that come with trying to take oil out of our waterways. We'll be able to identify which methods work best. Before we get started, let's make sure we gather all the tools and materials we will need. For this activity, you will need a large shallow container, such as a glass oven pan, water, cooking oil, dish soap, modeling clay or Play-Doh, a small toy animal or other small figurine, a spoon, and a small towel. To begin, we're going to take our large dish and we're going to build our ocean. First, we're going to build up our land masses that would exist around our ocean, and that's what we're going to use our clay for. Using the clay, you can build up different land features within your dish. Think about the different types of land formations that you might see on Earth, and you can mimic those here by putting mountains or islands, maybe even a volcano if you want. And with my land done, it is now time for me to put in my water as the ocean. I'm only going to put in enough water to lightly cover the bottom of the dish so that some of my land masses are above water and some are below water. And now with my ocean water added in, I'm going to go ahead and put my toy figure in my ocean. In this case, I have a sea turtle. And now it is time to simulate the oil spill. I'm going to take a couple tablespoons of cooking oil and pour it into my water. And just like the real ocean, there's going to be some movement of the water in the form of waves. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to move my ocean water around and I'm going to see the oil get dispersed throughout my ocean. And now I'm going to start the cleanup process of the simulation, starting first with my animal figure. Here I'm going to take my sea turtle model and I'm going to bring it to the sink. First, I'm going to try washing the oil off with water only, and then I'm going to try washing it off using soap and water together to see if that gets me different results. This is something for you to try at home when you run this experiment. And the next step in our simulation is to try to clean up the oil spill mess. There are three methods for you to try. First, using a towel, can you soak up the oil from the ocean? Can you use a towel to separate the oil from the water? The second method to try is using something like a spoon to lift the oil out of the water. Are you able to separate the mess of the oil away from your ocean with this kind of device? And finally, the third thing to try is using dish soap. If you add this into your ocean simulation, how does this help you clean up the oil from your water and the land masses that you have in your model? Feel free to try your own methods of removing the oil from the water as well. You never know what you might come up with. Once we've finished this simulation, it's time to reflect on what we have done, seen, and how we can learn from this. Think about what you saw the oil doing in the water and how it behaved. How do you think that this oil impacts the environments when a spill does happen? And what happens to the animals that live in those environments? And what ways do you think is best for us to be able to clean up these messes when they do occur? I hope you had a lot of fun running this experiment at home. Take care. Thanks for joining us today. When you're at Y on the Go, you're in the right place. The place for fitness time, family time, community time, anytime. Be sure to check out all of our other videos in the link below. See you again soon.